What is up guys? Welcome. So, that is insane, but it is the final episode of Oshinoko season 2, episode 13. I ended off where um Ruby actually came across Aqua's corpse, past corpse back in their hometown and obviously she's devastated. I am extremely curious to see what happens after something like that because I feel like Aqua's going to find out and what happens to Ruby, you know? This should be pretty crazy. Um, so let's jump into it. I mean, the star is still in her eyes. Aqua is home. She hasn't lost the spark in her eye completely. Like she's still, she's still down to, to pursue the career and everything. <laughs> No, not maybe, it is true, like what, sir? Wait, really? Okay, first of all, like that's super cute. Like, wow, you had so much faith in her. But, huh? How does the information you... It was mostly Ruby that found it. Did he think that Akane was gonna look into the person? Wait. Bro, it was honestly mostly Ruby the reason they found that body. You know? And 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 a crow. But like Oh, plus he's also saying like he knew there would be a body, so there's also that. But she's a real one, though. She. What? That's the conclusion she came to? That's, that seemed genuine too. That seemed genuine too. I still wonder if it is though, but it seems genuine. Like, I don't think he's faking it, but like, I don't know. Like, how deeply does he actually feel is what I'm trying to say. No, I do think it's at least what he thinks is genuine currently. I forgot about this fish. Ah, oh, she's the one with the crows. Like, who are you? 
I was wondering about that. I'm like, they let her have that? I mean, maybe they did. They could. But, like, why would they? The way you let her? Wait, are you going to tell her who he is? Wait, what do you know, little girl? I don't understand. No, but does she know? Or is she just speculating? Her voice, though. I love listening to her speak, what the heck? Yo, her voice is great. Her voice is great. See, my thing is like, is she teasing? Like she doesn't actually want to say it all, but does she know everything? And why? Who are you? Like who's, who? You know, considering how this is an anime where kids be get people be getting reincarnated and stuff, but, like, who are you? And, like, what, you know? Controlling crows and shit? Like, huh? <laughs> and what about Ruby? Damn. Mm. Is she gonna show like something completely Is she going to show something crazy right now? Hold up. Ooh, is she and she's really entering that stage like where Aqua was? Oh my god, not Ruby's turn. No way. So then Aqua. Aqua is the one that has the information that she doesn't know yet. Although what he has is wrong. Your dad very much is alive still. He's not on that trip no more because he got the information that our father's dead. And she... Oh my gosh, no way. It's her turn, bro, I swear. Mm. Does it have anything to do with the part Ruby? No. Kinda. Damn. <laughs> I didn't even know about that. <laughs> what are we? <laughs> oh. 
As an actress, for sure. Wow, she, I was like, is she going to drop me? <laughs> well, about that. Is she starting to suss him out? Oh, wow. Bro, she has two stars. Bro, that shot is scary. Ruby, you're scary as fuck right now. Her eyes, it's both black in both of her eyes. She's like, yeah, no. But she's wide awake, holy. Oh gosh, they're saving the two for last. Yikes. You hope Aqua does. So she already figures that's who Aqua's looking for. And you hope Aqua does. Bro, literally throw me away. Oh, I like this part. They freaking use that shot. Yo, they freaking use Dark Ruby. They're like, yes. Well, that was the little flare she was able to give in this filming. Oh, this is a fun song. Yeah, it's always the movements always just end me, honestly. <laughs> editing go off because, bro, editing go off. Half a year. Mm hmm. Bro, it, it's done. Okay, what is this? Mm. Wait. Guys, the star in the eye has always been a symbolism for uh, for like um eye and how the kids got that from her that and 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 the way they use it is like also has to do with their drive but that is fueled in connection to her. It's like I felt like it was this it was something they got from her. 
to represent whatever drive they're fueled by and the emotion through those eyes, right? Now we see, oh, who is she? We see some random girl. We haven't met her before. He just offed somebody else. And it looks like, did he get someone else to do his dirty work or he's behind this? So she falls and she dies. But look, she has the same light in her eyes that are going out. What's that about? And then he has them, but they're pitch black too. As if he has a mission or is he just crazy? Like he's just a, like a psycho that has to do this stuff. And that's why his is like that. Cause he has a constant murderous drive or something. Dang, he pretty though. Still. What is that about the crows? <gasps> what? I'm trying. That is really, really interesting because now I want to learn a little, oh my gosh, I want to learn more about like, like that seems relevant. There's a reason for that, right? The the eyes, there's a reason for that. So like, what is the reasoning behind this one? My mind is thinking, hold up, maybe like the true roots of the eyes is actually this guy. Like what if he's the actual source? of that eye symbolism and maybe I herself <sighs> I'm like maybe she because of their relationship she kind of gained those eyes actually from him and then it passed down to the kids I don't know that might be completely the wrong way to look at it but that's very interesting Who who's this girl that he just there are just so many questions what is his deal? What is with his eyes? Because him having these two black eyes just seems like he really has his own personal thing. But that could be his, like, psychoness. Him being psychotic and just going on murder sprees. Like, that could be what that is. Who's this one that he just harmed like this? And the craziest one is the little girl with the crows. Like, what? I have a lot of questions about that. Like, what's going on there? The other thing is Aqua isn't looking for the murder anymore. And then Ruby's like, I hope he finds the murder. So she's, she's waiting on something that's not really going to happen yet. So they're going to have to find out at one point. At one point, that conversation is going to have to open up between these two. It's going to have to. And then I guess they're going to find out who each other is and like, but then they're also gonna have to find out that the dad is very much alive. And like, my thing is, how is it that we don't see him anywhere on television or in any type of media? He's not that popular anymore of an artist because we don't see him anywhere. And like, I feel like if they saw this man on TV, they would both just be like, cause they look identical. Like they look so much like him, it's nuts. I feel like they would just, look at him and be like, you know, and yet he doesn't, it seems like he's not on TV like that or, or just anywhere for them to lay their eyes on. Bro. Oh my gosh. Well, that's the end of that. So whenever the next season comes out, we shall see. <sighs> crazy that's very good so thanks for watching with me guys leave your thoughts down below no spoilers please and i'll see y'all in the next video so thank you so much and bye